Welcome to another Jamie Tries video and in this one I shall be trying a selection of condiments and then ranking them. So a condiment is something you would usually serve with something, so you dip it in something or you use it as an ingredient in a recipe. Today I shall be trying them neat, completely without anything else. Will they taste any good on their own or will they be as uh, Dill from Rugrats would say, yucky. Let's find out. So the first one I shall be trying is Hubbard's Food Store Tomato Ketchup. This is Sainsbury's own brand. And I shall be trying a spoonful. Usually you would um, have these on chips or, you know, things of that nature. I've got a spoon. That's very sweet and then there's like a sharpness to the sweetness at the back of the throat there. It's not something I would choose to have neat on its own, but if I was forced to, that's not too bad. Um, what about ranking? Well, obviously it's gonna change as we go along. So I'm gonna put this one, I think I'm gonna put this one there for now because that wasn't too bad actually you gotta love a bit of sweetness i love the tomato flavor so let's try another one um do i go for the ones i think are the most pleasant or will be the most pleasant um no go on let's let's go for this one so this is frank's red hot original um sauce <laughs> uh, red hot sauce um frank as uh, most people will be saying in the united kingdom uh alluding to an eastenders character from the 80s and 90s and i went to school with somebody who we had a mutual person we knew and her name was pat getting the reference and whenever he walked into a room he'd go pat like that and Obviously, whenever anyone does an impression of Frank Butcher from EastEnders, they, they say, pat, like that. So whenever I think of Frank's hot sauce, I say, Frank, as in the way Frank used to say it, and pat, as in, you know, whatever. Anyway, let's, let's try this. I'm quite nervous for this, if I'm honest with you, because this is pretty hot, pretty hot. Oh. Right, ooh. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, there's definitely that peppery flavor going on in there. It's, it's, the, it's the pepper thing. I got pepper flavor all over my lips too. Hmm. Oh goodness. That, yeah, that was pretty hot. Um, but then again, maybe that's the intention. Maybe, uh, maybe get hot so you can say, Frank, even better. Um, <laughs> Yeah. Do you know what? Actually, aside from the hotness, that is a pretty pleasant flavour because it is pretty hot. It's at the back of my throat and it's staying there and I'm going to need a drink, um, which my wife's now handing me. Uh, that is pretty pleasant. Let me just figure out while I'm drinking where this is going. So I think I'm going to put it there because I think one of these flavors, these other flavors are going to be um, better than that. Let's try another one, shall we? Let's go with another basic one. This is Real Mayo by Sainsbury's made with free range eggs. I mean, you'd normally have this uh, in salads. It's very good with chicken as well. I love dipping a bit of like breaded chicken or something in a bit of mayo. What else do you use it for? Um, do let me know in the comments below and let's try. Well, obviously I've just had the Frank's hot sauce and this 
is one of those things that traditionally cools it down. Um, this is always that creamy flavor. It's made out of eggs and it does have an eggy flavor, but there's other things they put in it, I think, which give it a different tone. I really shouldn't have had that hot sauce um before this because it's almost devalued the flavor but i think i think if i was judging it on normal and it's not it's not unpleasant this is not unpleasant because you've got this um this thing where it goes great with stuff and actually i bet there are people who eat it by the spoonful so i'm going to put it at five i think it might change it might change let's go now for one from the left field so this is taste the difference summer edition ultimate burger sauce i had some of this on a burger last night and it was really good like proper good i'm never quite sure what it is uh, they're trying to take off. I mean, obviously uh, the Big Mac sauce, I guess is, is a burger sauce. Um, look in here, tomato and mustard sauce with gherkins, onions, and dill. Yucky. Um, yeah, let's try some of this. As you can see, it's got sort of a mustardy yellow flavor. Color. wow so yeah that um, that's got the tang from from the mustard it's very heavily mustard in there um it's almost got a pickly thing going on too uh obviously with gherkins onions and dill duh. um yeah so it's got a very sort of pickly very oniony kind of thing maybe i'm influenced by reading the back but I'm just going by what my taste buds are telling me. Like I say, with the burger, it was amazing. On its own, I just take I just taste onions, really. Um, onions and that sharpness from the mustard. I think so far, if I was to put this in a particular place, oh, it's tricky. Where, where would you put this in this ranking? I think I think it's got to go there for the moment. Where would you put this? Because with other things, it's an amazing accompaniment. But there, it's just I don't know. There's just it's just not quite there. I'm I'm not a huge fan of basically digesting an onion. Um, <laughs> some people probably would. Me, it's it's not to my taste. So let's go on to the next one. We've got two left. Let's go for the aubergine pickle, sweet and spicy. This is from Patax. Apologies if I have mispronounced that. Apparently this is very popular in Indian cuisine. Uh, this is a sweet and spicy, medium, great taste. I look forward to trying this actually because I don't mind the, the taste of aubergine. It's very good. So we can see there, it looks very, um, it looks like pickle, certainly. It's got that pickle texture to it and almost like jellyfied. Looks a little bit like beetroot as well. Oh yeah, very strong taste of everything that's written on there. But it's always dialed up, isn't it? When you taste these things, it's always to the max. It's always quite quite sugary, quite sweet, quite up here when it comes to the flavor profile. Um, I really like that. And again, with something else, or even in, in certain dishes, that would be really good and it would accompany it. I'm not sure I'm completely a fan. I feel like 
I've tried crisps and stuff with this flavoring, this type of flavoring in it. Um, it says medium hotness. There is a spiciness at the back of my throat, which is very pleasant. There's sort of that tang that remains with you, but that actually is pretty good. I'm probably contradicting myself here, but I, I think I really like that. And I would argue without the hotness, I think this would be one. Because actually, the more I feel that flavour um, lingering at the back of my throat, the more I think, yeah, I like this. This is great. But with the hotness, I think we're going to have to go to number two. I think it's going to have to be number two at this point. It might change. Who knows? So the last one here is American style mustard by Sainsbury's. Other supermarkets are available. Um, not sponsored by any of the brands in this video, I should mention. Um, mustard, my least favorite of all condiments, simply because most of the time, uh, I'm just not a fan. Even on things, I'm not a fan. So I'm putting myself through this, even though I'm not a fan. Um, obviously my family use it in recipes and stuff. So maybe I've been eating it this whole time and you know, maybe I am a fan, who knows? Hmm. I'm incredibly confused about that. I'm incredibly confused because I just gave you the speech saying how much I hate mustard. But actually, the silly thing about this is that um, I think I like it. I think I like the mustard. How unusual, on its own, American style mustard by Sainsbury's. Other supermarkets are available. I think I like it. And I think I'm gonna have to shift these to one side. I'm gonna have to shift these to one side in a way. I mean, to be fair, if I think if you did a, a poll, I think it would say that mustard and ketchup are possibly you know, coupled with mayo as well. Not together, I should mind, you know, as separate condom condiments are the most popular of this type of thing. Um, which I wouldn't have believed you before this video that that was the case. I wouldn't have thought that. So where can this go? <sighs> have I got some mustard on the... I've got some mustard on the spoon. There we go. Hmm. Yeah. I think we're going to have to move this. I think we're going to have to do something, aren't we? Because, again, these are all great things when they're served with stuff. But on their own. Where would you put everything? I mean, where, where would everything go for you? Um, do let me know in the comments below, by the way. So, I really liked this, but I think this might have to go to one side. In fact, no. Do you know what? Let's do that. So, we've got the burger sauce, the mayo, the hot sauce, the ketchup. Mm. I'm sorry, ketchup. It will be off the table in a minute. Um, no. So the burger sauce, mayo, ketchup, hot sauce, mustard, and then the aubergine and pickle. I think that is possibly the... It's, it's a tie. It's a tie, isn't it? Um, what do you think? Have you tried any of these before? Obviously, you would have tried ketchup and mustard um, and mayo, obviously. Uh, but... What do you think? Have you tried Frank's hot sauce? Have you tried 
the aubergine and pickle? Have you tried the burger sauce? Have you tried any of these things? Please do let me know in the comments below. And also, lastly, do you have any suggestions for what you would like to see uh, tried on this channel, whether condiments or not? Please do let me know. Thank you so much for watching this edition of Jamie Tries. I'm going to go and have a very large drink now.